What is going on dudes and welcome to a bit of ground war team deathmatch on jungle with the G11 where I managed to start off quite well and then it all seems to fall apart as I get towards the end which is something that tends to happen to me quite often in that I'll either start a game amazingly or I'll start terribly and then as I get to the end uh, my fate will somehow reverse itself and I'll end up either doing terribly if I started off well or I'll end up doing amazingly if I started off poorly but either way I simply can't manage to uh, to keep up the good playing throughout the entire game. That's that's definitely a fault of mine. I don't know. Other people watching this may experience the same phenomena, in which case perhaps I'm not alone. Um, anyway, I was just reading an article on Yahoo about how some of the Lakers, due to their iPhone malfunctions, overslept and didn't make it to one of their games on time against the uh, the Grizzlies. And just, it got me thinking about our reliance on technology. And some of you may have heard uh, in an earlier story, I think it was on January 1st that it went up, that just there was a mass oversleep of people who rely on their iPhones as their alarms. And apparently the Lakers deserve their own segment because they're very important, more so than the rest of us, which makes sense. Uh, <laughs> that's how the world is. Um, so you may have heard of this before, but uh, this one, I don't know, it got me thinking of our reliance on technology, as I just said, and just what what would happen if there was some mass apocalypse of all the electronic devices in the world, and or um, if, if in like a Terminator or Matrix type situation, suddenly our technology began to outsmart us, <laughs> it enslaved us, and... Uh, required us to do its bidding as opposed to the reverse, which is what is currently going on. And it's just, it's crazy to think how dependent we are on this sort of magical source of wonder in the world. Like, fucking magnets, how do they work, man? <laughs> I don't want to go ask a scientist, they're lying, getting me pissed. Um, But it's just, it seems so magical, and although I'm going to school basically to learn how it all works, it's still, it's amazing to think we have figured this all out but at the same time it's like can this really last it's just <laughs> with obviously our use of fossil fuels at the moment and all our non-renewable energy sources we have to change at some points um in order to make things work in the long run but man it's just it's all really amazing to think about and scary to think about the future without it so i don't know it's it's actually one of the reasons i focus on school <laughs> as opposed to trying to turn this whole YouTube thing into a primary source of income because no matter how hard I try to convince myself I simply cannot uh, I cannot picture this as a long-term source of income and if if people are able to turn it into that if this lasts into the future for a long time to come that's awesome I just at the moment I, I simply it's all come up so fast that I can't picture it lasting it just ah <laughs> it's so amazing to think that i can play a video game and post myself playing it to a video sharing site and s through some magical set of circumstances i can earn revenue off that it's all so new and magical that no matter how hard i try i'm like this can't possibly last forever it's it's too good to be true which is why i like i, <laughs> I have to focus on school i can't the minutes i force myself to put up a video because I need money in order to survive is the minute I should probably focus my attention wholeheartedly elsewhere because it just, I don't know, I can't wrap my head around it and it may seem like I'm being pessimistic, but I guess I'm just being realistic. Like, put yourself in my position. Could you really imagine yourself making a living on into your, I don't know, 30 years from now doing this? I just think that Either YouTube will, some something either uh, attention will shift to some other subject matter, or the site will fail or something, or just something will happen that will, it, it's like, ah, I said it before, but it's, it's so good, it's like too good to be true, and as I've said many a times, and I think it was the last time I said it was in two videos ago, <laughs> that when something is so, I try to assume the worst so that when the best comes out of it, um, I can be pleasantly surprised. So in this case, I guess I'm assuming that this will not last, um, so that if it does, I can be awestruck 
at it. <laughs> so I don't know. All this stuff, it makes me happy. Uh, but at the same time, school is school is where the focus should be. Anyway, <laughs> I think I hope no one I hope no one thinks I'm insulting in saying all that and in saying that I don't know if this will last forever. But for the time being, I'm I'm at your mercy. <laughs> I'm at your mercy. Excuse me, I can't speak as the viewer in that without you, I'm lost. So I I appreciate you all very much, and I can't say it enough because without you I have numbers on my channel but those numbers don't really reflect anything <laughs> they're just they're just numbers and without people behind them well um nothing else they're n I can't speak sorry it's early and uh anyway I guess I'm just going on <laughs> I still can't speak I'm just going on about how much I love you all for uh for sticking by me through all this time. So yeah, all that being said, I hope you've enjoyed my, my random tangents on our dependence on technology, and I hope you've enjoyed, in which case it would be awesome and very helpful if you could take a second to uh, leave a thumbs up rating, as, yeah, not only is it helpful, but it increases the length of your members. On that note, I appreciate you taking the time to watch, and I'll see you next time.